Hello everyone, this is Precision TV, of course. Uh, my name is Dezo Steak or Desiree. Uh, this is uh, Precision Lifetime. We have a special guest today. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I have you guys and you are my friend. I'm so excited. As you see, I have a family, beautiful couple with, uh, I don't know, you're going to introduce yourself. Yes. I'm not going to do anything about that. So let me start with you. Uh, behind um, close to wife. So my name is Emmanuel Villanueva, mm -hmm. and this is my wife Faraday Villanueva. Mm -hmm. And then our our little boy <laughs> is two Eli. Eli. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. And we have two others, uh, another boy and one girl. Another boy and one girl. A uh, three-year-old and seven. Awesome, awesome. So we're pretty busy. Yes. <laughs> we're a pretty yes. busy family yeah. with like kids. Yeah, yes. definitely. Yes. It's like a day. All right, day. all right, all right. You say, what's uh, your wife's name? Faraday. Faraday. Yes. I, I want to make sure everybody understand and make it like Faraday, Faraday, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes. Faraday. I know it's very Faraday. strong. Okay, oh, it's beautiful and uh, having you in your house. You know, I'm very, very surprised to the way you. You're taking me, I know, don't see me on the camera thinking maybe I, I didn't eat. I'm full, they oh, didn't yeah. full of drink, everything is good. Uh, the first question would be like, Emmanuel, uh, maybe I'll ask your wife later, but what do you do for a living and how long have you been here in Austin? So, for a living, uh, I work for a company called LegalZoom.com. Yes, I'm a senior processor in the business department. Uh, I've been doing that about eight years, and I've been in Austin uh, for seven years, almost seven years. Yes. 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 Uh, what what's, what do you do, you Farada? Um, so, like you said, it's like a daycare in our house. Uh -huh. I actually own a daycare in my house. Wow. Yeah, so I take care of, um, of uh, six other kids, well, including my kids, seven, mm -hmm. and um, I'm licensed with the state of Texas. And so, uh, yes, yeah, so that's what I do in my home. I, I own a daycare. And um, currently now we're also starting a new business venture um, with another company, which hopefully in the next couple of months will take off full time. I think that would be my next question. Okay. Because I want to know what what's going to be the business. Okay. I may be included. I don't yes, know. Yes, we would yes, love for you to be. All right. <laughs> oh, of course, this is Precision Lifetime show. I have a beautiful couple here. I visited them at home. They're very nice, as you see. And uh, I love the family. So, Emmanuel, I'm not going to ask you like right away, like, where have you been before living in Austin? Before living in Austin, uh, I was in California, Los Angeles, California. Um, I actually grew up in, in LA, in the LA area, and uh, moved to Austin in 2010. Yes. Oh, it looks like your wife has something to tell you. Yeah. Let me ask I know, her. Right? <laughs> Maybe you should ask her. Yeah, let me ask you something, uh, uh, Farada. I know um, uh, you seem like a Christian person. Oh, yes. And uh, I hear that uh, you go to church. Yes. Uh, where, which church are you going? And uh, do you feel like you are Christian for real? Mm -hmm. I want you to tell people, the people who are following Precision TV right now, to know like what is your religion if you don't mind yes no no problem <laughs> um currently we go to uh austin central seven day adventist church here in the austin area mm. um it's closer to ut uh the University of Texas, mm. and it's a wonderful, wonderful church. Um, we've officially made it our home church last year. Okay. Um, we're members now of the church, and um, our kids love it. We love all of our members, and we really, truly feel like God is in that church. Oh, and, um, you know, my husband and I, we prayed for a long time to yes. help us find a church where we feel accepted, we feel our kids are accepted, and um, somewhere that we can actually raise our family and be a part of a church. 
And so Austin Central was actually given to us, you know? I see, And yeah, so yeah. Um, our religious background is Seventh-day Adventist. I was born Seventh-day Adventist and raised Seventh-day Adventist, and my husband was uh, raised, raised Seventh-day Adventist. Seventh -day Adventist. Yeah. Seventh -day Adventist. Mm -hmm. All right. It seems like it's a good couple. You guys known each other, and yes. you are convincing about the religion, yeah. right? Yes, yes. yes. All yes. right, all right. Okay, let's go ahead right away to the topic, like... You say you uh, you go to the church, and uh, you say you are uh, uh, SD Adventist church. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to know, like, <laughs> what is the memory? Like, uh, memory is the uh, only, like, oh, no. Austin people no. or white people. Like, do you have, like, a diversity of people to your churches? Uh, yes, that's the one thing that I love. And so far, every church that we visited here in Austin mm -hmm. is very diverse. But our church is very diverse as well. Um, we have a really strong African community there. And, um, you know, everybody is welcome, no matter your race, um, you know, your gender. And it's just so warm and inviting to be at that church. Hey, Mama, yes. how do you feel yourself to, or to be around, uh, like, African community uh, in your church? I love it. I love it. Um, I love uh, different cultures. Uh, and to experience uh, the African culture in my church, mm -hmm. I just, I love it, I love it. And when um, I'm able to connect with, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, people from other cultures, I, I love it. I love to uh, see the way they dress. Mm -hmm. I sometimes want to dress like <laughs> them. I'm very, I, I love, um, I love experiencing every part, food, I love food. And um, if I could dive myself in, in, in the culture as much as possible to just to, to connect with uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. people, that, that's just my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, you told me that you have like four, four kids. I have three. Three kids. Yes. So it seems like it's a beautiful family. Yes. So how did you like... Are you planning to have another kid? Yeah. Or are you already stout? Be like, no, no, no. <laughs> because it's expensive, probably. Yeah. Well, I want one more. Oh, one more. I want one more. I wish I, I want, want one more, but I don't know about my wife. Maybe you okay, should ask probably her. Probably she will do that. Okay, I'm not going to ask her. It seems, <laughs> seems like, oh, let me be natural. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, that's cool. I love kids, too. That's why I was asking you about kids. So, Emmanuel, you've been telling me that you work on, um, you are here on Precision TV, of course. You've been mm -hmm. visiting you. But how do you know about Precision TV? Uh, how long have you been known in Precision TV? So about two or three weeks. Uh, I have seen a few episodes. All right. And yes. you actually and you told me about it. And I was just like, wow, I got to go check this out. As soon as you told me, I, I looked at it on okay. the phone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, Farah, did you, did I say it correct? Or? Faraday. Faraday. Oh, no. I, I, I want to make sure yeah. it's the right way. Uh, you told me that you saw also, you watched some episodes. Mm -hmm. Which one did you saw? I watched a lot of them. I think a lot of them you're interviewing people like on a campus. Uh -huh. And I saw that. I saw one where you were interviewing some of our church members, the, the men in our church. Uh -huh. And then the last one, which I love the most, is when the choir was singing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't understand anything that is being said, mm -hmm. but I watch it anyways. All right, all right. I love it. It's uh, really let me great. tell people that this is Precision TV. Uh, my name is Desiree. That's a Precision Lifetime show. Uh, so let's go to the point, Emmanuel. Uh, like, everyone has a lifestyle of living. Mm -hmm. What do you like mostly? Like, when you're off, what do you do when you're free? When I'm free, um, what I do, I love spending time with my family. That's that's the, um, that's the main thing that we do as um, as a family. We just we spend a lot of time, um, and church is a, a big uh, part of our life. Um, we spend a, a, a lot, maybe three times a week, uh, with, uh, doing church events. Um, we do Bible study. We do Bible study, prayer, and um, anything to involve my kids. That's what I do. Um, that's that's what that's what I uh, surround myself. So, if we're going, if we go to uh, Chuck E. Cheese or anything that um, that involves them, that's where I'm at. All right. How about you? What do you like for like? 
when you are free, what do you think you can do like, mostly uh, beside maybe um, focus on your family? Uh, right now, I guess because we are so focused on our family and we actually enjoy being around each other. Right. Some people don't, but my husband and I, we really do enjoy spending time together. Um, but I also enjoy spending time with uh our friends from church. Mm -hmm. So f when we first moved here, we didn't really know too many people other than his co-workers. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just meeting so many people at church, we love to go out to different restaurants. Um, we love to go to everybody's house and hang out. You know, I think we're really just like laid back, mellow people. Mm -hmm. And just being around people and interacting with people is what really makes us happy. That's correct. That's correct. Oh, at the point, let, let's 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 get at the end of our show. Uh, I, I, I know you have a lot of stuff to do, and you're about to, uh, to tell me like this. Ray, can you go? Huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But, no, but no. I want to say, uh, I want I want to just ask you the last question, which will be like diversity question. Uh, uh, from your experience, uh, what did you know about like? Uh, African, like let me say, because I'm African, mm -hmm. let me say, what do you know about Africa uh, since now you have some uh, member, uh, churches member uh, from Africa? Um, I've, I've grown up with a lot of African people. Uh, my best friend from California is from Kenya, uh -huh. and so I've always surrounded myself with African people, and what I love is how welcoming they are. Um, they treat everyone like their family, or like they're their children, or grandchildren, or nieces, or nephews. And that's one thing that I love, um, because that's the type of person that I am. I'm very inviting and warm to other people. And I feel like the way a lot of African people were raised is like that as well. They're very warm and inviting. All right, so since you've been talking today, maybe and you have some members over there at the church, yes. have you learned some, maybe some culture, some some new vocabulary yeah. in Swahili or Kinyarwanda? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell maybe two or three words, you know, which is now English. Amakuru. Amakuru. <laughs> what does that mean? That means like, hello, oh, how are yeah. you? All right. That's and cool. then the cool word is bite. Bite, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, bite. 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 So uh, what else do you know about maybe the culture, like African culture in general? Uh, African culture in general. Mm. That would be hard. That's, uh, oh, it's hard, that's for, hard you? for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you need to read. I, 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 I guess he's learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Oh, I, learning. Learning. Oh, I, do, I got you. I, got I, you. Do, I do love the way. Uh, I love the way you dress. Me? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. I All mean, right. Thank you. The way, thank you the way, so much. the way you, um, the way you wear your, um, your African. What is it? Uh, the African style. The African yeah. style. Okay. I love it. The pants. Uh -huh. It's just. If the way it matches, and then you got some nice clean shoes. Oh, All right. Man. That's, Thank you, man. I love Thank it, man. You. I love it. Yeah, oh, let, let's get to the end, uh, but I, I want to give you some gift. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're going to accept it. Please oh, accept yes, it. Yes, you accept it. I have it. some uh, gift for you guys, which is right here. Which size do you wear? Large. Large. Which size are you? Small. Small. Oh, yeah, this would be small. It's, this is a precision t-shirt. Yes! And I know you love precision t shirts Yes, oh, yes we, we do. do. And uh, it will be nice for us because we love you. Thank you. So if you can have this Thank as a you. gift. Yes. We love yes. you Thank so you. much. Emmanuel, you. Oh, man. you say you are a large? Yes, yes. I think this will fit you very good. Yep. Yes. Precision t As you see, everyone. If you want a t-shirt, you can order online. This is a Precision TV with a little logo over here. Yeah. So, Emmanuel, Thank this you. is for you. Thank you, man. I appreciate All right. it. Yes. No problem. Thank you, Desiree. No problem. We love you so much. Thank yeah, you for our Yeah, thank you shirts. so much for everyone who was following Precision TV. <laughs> My name is Desiree, of course. I was with this beautiful couple. I love you guys. I love you. And love that you. it was just so nice to be with you guys tonight. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate the, my invitation. And we hope you yes. come back. Yes. Of Please course. come back. Yes. Of come course, back. I will be coming back. Uh, but before we end, let me 
come back again. She was talking about the business. Yes. Yeah, I, want, yes. I want you to tell me or any other person who is who would be interested about your business. She told me that you have uh, you and your husband are you trying to start a new business, mm -hmm. which is not what you're doing right now. Yes. Um, so currently we are with a company called Zija International and we are independent distributors um, and it's a health and wellness uh, business that we're starting and basically what we want to do going forward is educate people on health and wellness and how to actually get the best nutrients into your body so that not only do you get more energy, you start losing weight, but these nasty diseases that are being caused by all the foods and the toxins that we have in our foods can start um, being uh, eliminated from our society, especially in the black society. You know, um, a lot of times we don't get the, um, the benefits as other cultures do around us as far as what's in our grocery store. And um, you know, there's fast food chains all over the place because they're convenient. And, um, you know, what Emmanuel and I want to do is to be able to educate people about our product and how it's 100% natural. It's not medication. It's something healthy that you can put in your body. And, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's safe for anybody, for babies all the way up to old people. So if you are interested in knowing more about our business, you can uh, email us at auniquewellness at gmail.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, all right. I think everyone has to catch that email because simple, simple and very soon. Uh, he will, she will be here on Precision TV. Uh, she will tell you everything you want. Any question, and I will be there. Emmanuel will be there. I think everyone will be comfortable with the question. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, and we have really appreciate that you are following us on Precision TV. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right.